with the material that I was working with, did you see the fuzz? The fuzz is everywhere. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Faded Wildflower Crochet. My name is Rachel. And for today's video, I'm going to be taking a break from amigurumi and crocheting a bag. Actually, three bags. These bags are going to be for my two daughters and my niece. I'm going to be making them cute little animal bags. I have never really made a bag before, or if I have, I don't remember. I know I've made little pouches or sort of like wallet sized bags before, but I don't think I've ever made an actual bag like with a strap before. So this is gonna be a little bit of a new experience for me. And I realized that all of the supplies for today's video came from the dollar store. I didn't do that on purpose, but crocheting bags with dollar store supplies sounds like a good title to me. So. Let's get into this project. Okay, here is a very basic sketch of what I want my animal bag to look like. I asked each of the girls what their favorite animal was and my niece said a flamingo, my older daughter said a penguin, and my younger daughter said a cat. So this is just kind of the basics of what I want the bags to look like. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to use safety eyes for the eyes or sew them with felt. I have not decided that far yet, but this is just the very basic outline of what I want the bags to look like. Okay, here are all the supplies that I'm going to need for today's video. I have all of this yarn that is the Premier Just Chenille, which you can get at Dollar Tree. And then I also found these little faux fur material squares from the dollar store and I'm going to use these to line the bag. So let me show you kind of my basic plan for how I'm going to make these bags. So essentially what we're going to be doing is taking this fabric square, folding it in half like this. And then this is a little too wide, so I'll measure this later, but I'll probably make it about that size for the bag. So this is going to be the size of the bag. It's not gonna be too big of a bag, but these are for kids, so I think it's a nice little size for them. And then what I'm going to do is crochet, essentially just a really big rectangle, and then sew this material to the rectangle, sew up the sides to close up the sides, and then I'm going to make a flap to come down the front, and that's where we're gonna do all our face details and all of that. And then of course we're gonna make a strap. So that is the basic plan. I don't know if that made any sense, but hopefully you'll understand as we get into it. I'm not working from any sort of pattern. I'm kind of just going for it. So let's get into the crochet. Okay, so I have only done a couple of rows so far. I ended up cutting off about two inches of this fabric here. So now it is 12 inches tall and 10 inches wide. And I crocheted wide enough here to have a few stitches on each side so that I can have enough seam allowance essentially to sew them up on the side. And for me, that ended up being 38 stitches. And I am doing half double crochet mostly because I get tired of doing single crochet all the time because that's what I do for amigurumi and it also makes the stitches a little bit taller. So that is what I have so far. I'm going to get cozy on the couch and work on this. I am doing my niece's bag first because I got this pink yarn. I, if you noticed, I got this pink yarn in this video where I talked about crocheting in public for a day and I found this yarn at the Dollar Tree that day and I said in that video, I was like, oh, this will come in handy, I bet. And it did pretty immediately. So I already had the idea for this video, but I had no idea that my niece was going to choose a flamingo. So it ended up working out perfectly. But I only have four skeins of this, and I'm a little bit concerned that might not be enough. So I do want to try and crochet one skein of this today and see if that can help me get an idea for if I have enough of this yarn or not. But we will see. I hope that it is, but I may end up just going ahead and going to the dollar store and getting some more. But anyways, I'm going to go get cozy on my couch now and really get into this bag and I will check in with you guys in a little bit.
Okay, this is where I've gotten on the bag so far. So are you seeing the vision now? I feel like I wasn't explaining it very well earlier, but it is basically just a large rectangle. I sewed on this material on the inside with embroidery floss. I didn't do the neatest job ever, but you won't really be able to see because it's on the inside. And so what we'll end up doing is folding this up, sewing up the sides, and then this little flap will come down like that. And that will be what our bag looks like. So I did end up switching to single crochet on this project. I just like the way that it looks better than the half double crochet. But I went up to size eight millimeter crochet hook, which is actually what the yarn label suggests. And I really like the way that it looks, I like the way it feels. So that is what I did. And I used a whole skein so far plus all but this much of another one. So I definitely have plenty of yarn to do this project. I don't need to go out and buy more. So all I will need to do is make the strap and then the face details. And I'm gonna give him some little wings to come out the side. I think that's gonna be really cute. But I think what I'm gonna do first is to get to this point of the other two bags. So now that I know how to do this, it'll be much easier for me to make the other two. It should be pretty quick. So I'm gonna go work on that and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I did finish the body of all three of these bags. This one has the pink interior. And then this one here has also pink. I'm kind of going with the girls' favorite colors as well. And then this one has this really pretty like aqua blue. So I need to start working on the faces now. And then I'm not really sure how long I wanna make the strap. I may have to measure one of my kids. I think I should be able to finish these up today. I am going to do the faces next. I think I'm going to do felt for the faces and sew that on for the eyes, or maybe just crochet. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do felt or crochet, but I don't think I'm gonna do safety eyes because then they'll come out this side here and they'll kind of, it just won't look as neat. So I think I'm going to sew the eyes and base details on in some way. And then I'm going to make the straps and then these will be done. I'm really excited to see how they turn out. So let's get started on the face. Okay, I could totally cut this part out, but I think I'm gonna leave it in just to show you that, you know, my first ideas don't always work out. Um, I thought I could maybe crochet the eye to, you know, kind of create like a cute little, like where this is the highlight of the eye and then the pupil and then the, what is it called? The iris, the colored part. Um, but I just think it looks a little freaky. So I do think I'm going to end up going with Either I'm going to leave out the white part, like, because that looks kind of cool, but I think I might just end up doing felt because I know that that's going to look good. So I tried, but this is just looking a little bit, like, scary. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with the felt eyes.
Here is the little face details done. Just need to sew them on. And I think I am gonna make little wings. I was trying to decide. I think it'll look cuter with little wings coming out the side right here. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm probably gonna do the rest of the face details from sitting on my couch. When I film these like detail clips like this, just the way my setup is right now, I'm having to like lean over. So it's hurting my back. So I'm going to do the rest of this probably with my little lap desk comfy on my couch, but I am gonna crochet some little wings because I think that's gonna be really cute. So I think he's turning out really adorable so far. I can't wait to see this all finished up. the bags are done. I have to say I am pretty happy to be done with this project. Uh, it took me three days, which really is not too bad when you think about the fact that I made three bags in three days. That's a bag a day. That's not too bad. And I was working on other things too, but I do think it's very cute. You can definitely still see some fuzz. Um, if you have ever worked with just chenille yarn, which is what you can get at the dollar store, you will know that it sheds pretty bad. <laughs> um, and I know that I could have attached a different yarn to do the sewing because the sewing is the part where it sheds. It's really not bad when you're just crocheting with it, but the sewing part, it definitely sheds. I'm covered in fuzz. I wouldn't be surprised if there's fuzz on me in this video, but I gotta film this outro. I gotta show off these bags because I am really am happy with how they turned out. I think they're pretty cute. I think the girls are going to love them. I think it will be really sweet to see them carrying them around. There are a few things that I would change if I were to do this again. I think the size is just like a little wonky. It's a little bit wide. I wish it was a little bit taller, but with the material that I was working with, did you see the fuzz? The fuzz is everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, I think that if I were to do this again, I would make them a little bit bigger, but I was working with the size of the material that I had and it was only so big. <laughs> I will say though that I thought that the fur material that I got at the dollar store would be hard to work with. I thought that it, it would shed as well as the chenille yarn, but I did not have any problems with it. It sewed up beautifully. It is so soft and comfy and it's, you know, not shed, you can see it's not shedding at all. So it is really nice for $1.25 for that amount of fabric. I do wish that you could find it in larger sizes. Um, but I did notice that the dollar store, my dollar store at least, is carrying a lot more material than they used to. They had felt, they had cotton material, they had all kinds of different prints and styles and stuff. So I definitely think I might be doing this project again, not anytime soon, but in the future and make myself a bag and line it with some Dollar Tree fabric. So all in all, this project was pretty cheap to make. I used two full skeins plus like a little bit of a third skein on each of them. And then the fabric itself was $1.25. So three skeins of yarn for $1.25, the material was $1.25, and then just kind of little bits of a few other things. And then I had the felt myself in my stash, but it really all in all was a pretty cheap project to do and I'm happy with it. So that is that. I made bags for the first time. And like I said, I think I will be trying this again in the future and make my own bag, but um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time. I'm gonna go back to Amigurumi for a while and then come back to a bag later on. So you'll have to let me know what you thought about today's video. Which bag was your favorite? Have you ever tried making a bag or anything else with Dollar Tree supplies? I am really happy to see Dollar Tree carrying a lot of different supplies lately. The last time I was at the Dollar Tree, I saw a lot of different supplies. 
I saw kits for needle felting. I saw kits for embroidery. I unfortunately have never seen a crochet kit there, but I will have to say that I have not heard the best things about their crochet kits, but the yarn and the material I can definitely vouch for. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. You can subscribe. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see me do next. You can follow me on all my social medias. It's just the faded wildflower everywhere. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.